right, here we go. Set it equal to zero. Got to move that 13 over there. So we'll have to subtract it. So x squared plus 4x, leave a little space, equals negative 13. We complete that square by dividing that term by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Squared is 4. So we'll add 4 here. We'll add 4 to the right side. So left side factors to x plus 2 squared. The right side, negative 13 plus 4 is negative 9. We square root both sides. Square root of negative 9 would be plus or minus 3i. Left side, we just got the x plus 2. And how do you get rid of plus 2? You subtract the 2. So we'll have negative 2, because that number goes first. And then the imaginary stuff goes at the back. Plus or minus 3i. Great. Set it equal to 0. You gotta send that plus 18 to the other side, so it'll be negative 18 over there. Complete the square, half of negative 8 is negative 4, squared is positive 16. Alright, so we have x minus 4 squared equals negative 2. Square root both sides. X minus 4 equals only perfect square negative 2 is i. So we kick out the i. Whoops, let me put my plus or minus. Almost forgot. That could have been embarrassing. i root 2. And then we get rid of that plus or the minus 4 with a plus 4. So we have x equals 4 plus or minus i root 2. That sounds like you're getting defensive watching a football game. I root 2.